Why hello there everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Channel BK. My name is Brian. Surprise list video. I know it's crazy. This is a shock to me too. Uh, I know from the singles video you probably heard, oh, you're just going to do albums and, and movies and maybe in the albums audio because I recorded that already uh, that I was like, oh yeah, I'm just going to do movies and that's it. But no, I do have a surprise list. So don't fret when you hear that in the albums list of like oh there's no more list this is the surprise one my top five concerts of 2018 i went to a lot of concerts this year uh i was very excited to be out seeing all these artists i think it was a great year for concerts i was a huge fan of all the shows i went to no one let me down i had a ball i had so many fun stories i went with so many awesome people it was great I had a great time. Saw artists that I might not ever do, or might not ever see again. It's crazy. Um, and it was cool. And I was trying to think of another cool list, and I thought this was one that would make sense. So without further ado, we are gonna do honorable mentions, and then I'm gonna be doing the rest of the artists. And like I said, it's only a top five. So for the honorable mentions, in really no particular order, but I guess it is somewhat in an order of like a eight, seven, six. I got the Tomorrow's Modern Boxes Tour from Tom York. I got the Rats on the Road Tour from Ghost. And I got the Mirror Master Tour, Young the Giant. Without further ado, though, let's just get into this list. At number five, the I'll Be There Tour, Brockhampton. Uh, I thought the set list was great. I thought their energy was spectacular. I was so excited I, that I was able to get in a little bit early to this show. Um, this show had a lot of a backstory to it uh, with um, someone that I was supposed to be going with. And then, you know, there's a, just a very long story to that. And so... I dragged Brett along to it, uh, and it was such an amazing show. Uh, I love the production behind it. Uh, we were in the pit, basically, and, you know, me being 23 years old, I'm like, I've never been in a mosh pit before. Let's see how this goes. Third song in, they open the pit. I was up for, like, three seconds, and me being scrawny as shit, I fell down and was on the ground for about 30 seconds with, like, eight people falling on top of me. And this guy got me up and saved me. And the first thing out of my mouth was, where did my beanie go? Because <laughs> I lost my freaking beanie I bought. Luckily, I did find it. It was amazing. But I thought it was crazy. It was just insane. It, I, I thought their stage presence was awesome. And just the performances were great. And again, like they did such kind of a unique set list. And it was so awesome to hear this new album live and obviously some of their um older singles as well so definitely a great show and number four we got the flower boy tour tyler the creator this was earlier in the year uh vin staples opened the night i went with montez and this show basically had it all tyler was having fun with the audience he was letting us get involved i thought the set list was great he basically did mostly all of flower boy with some of his bigger singles back in the day uh, I love the stage setup. Uh, again, this was actually at the same venue as the Brockhampton show. We weren't in the pit, though. And I just was a huge fan. His energy was great. His performance was great. It was so magical. And I just thought the arrangements and kind of what he was doing and playing with was super cool, super dope. And I was a really big fan. It was, again, cool to hear my favorite album of last year <laughs> played live. And, again, I thought it was just a really cool and dope show. I did see Tyler back when it was All of Odd Future, when they first blew up, when Earl was, you know, off. And, you know, and they were doing the whole Free Earl thing. And that was also a fun show. But I definitely think this was a phenomenal show. And it was nice because Tyler barely comes to Detroit. So it was cool to have him come and to get on this tour. Um, at number three, we got a moon-shaped pool tour from Radiohead. Their third time in their whole career coming to Detroit. Um, I went with Mandy and Brett to this one. We saw them at the LCA. Uh, again, just a night of a very unique show. You know, obviously I did see Tom York as well with Brett as well. Uh, and the set list was so diverse. I mean, my major complaint, and I know people are going to be like, oh my God, Brian, you're so... Blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. There's definitely some songs I wish we would have heard. There were certain cuts off of Moonshade Pool I would have loved to hear. 
Uh, I would have loved to have heard more Amnesiac stuff, or there was no Amnesiac stuff. Um, but honestly, I still loved it because I just thought the performance was great. Uh, Jun Jun, I believe, is the name of the Johnny Greenwood band, um, performed as the opener, and they were great. Um, again, it was just so nice to see one of my favorite bands live. And again, I still think the set list was great. Like, I know I'm complaining and you're like, oh, Brian, just fucking shut up and be whatever. But it was an amazing experience. And they had like, I think it was two or three on course. I think it was two. Um, and it was, again, just an electrifying show. It was obviously very different in a lot of ways in terms of, you know, a big rock show. Because obviously, I mean, they do have upbeat songs, obviously. But it was definitely kind of a, like a quiet, somber opening to a concert. But again, it was one of those things where it was like, it was just a crazy experience to be there live. So definitely a f- fabulous show. And again, I, I was thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed and number two we got the this is america tour by childish gambino or childish gambino excuse me um ray shrimmered opened the night which was awesome they were really hyped they got us going but actually story behind this so he didn't come to detroit and uh i sort of did a apb of like who wants to come to chicago with me to see him and Mandy, being a huge fan of Childish Gambino, who I saw Radiohead with, she was like, I'll come. So we made sort of a whole weekend trip out of it. We stayed at our um, friend's place. Shout out to Alexis. Um, You're the homie uh, and you're the best. And we had a lot of fun that weekend being in the city and hanging out with her and her friends and stuff. But the show itself was magnificent. He basically spanned all across all albums, did new songs, did his newer singles, um did stuff from because the internet awakened my love again it was one of those things where who could have hoped that we could have gotten like old mixtape or you know camp album stuff but again he was just crazy the stage itself was amazing and like he said many times we're going to church and it, it felt that way and just he just had so much energy he did so many fun unique things with the crowd um he did a really beautiful tribute to Mac Miller that night too because that was actually the day after Mac passed away which was kind of a crazy start to that weekend I remember before um Mandy picked me up for us to sort of go on the road trip she texted me about the whole Mac Miller thing so again that kind of sat in a very interesting place with us so um yeah I was not gonna miss my opportunity to see him live this was my moment it was incredible he just kept it going and uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was just, it was just such an electrifying show. Again, just the whole stage setup was so cool, and it was again just a really nice experience with it. And it was, yeah, it was amazing. But, but at number one, we got the Coco Sugar Tour, Young Fathers. Again, saw them in Chicago at the Bottom Lounge. Uh, again, this is another one of those, sorry about that. I'm messing around with my camera thing again. (laughs) Um, again, back to the I'll Be There tour. Um, there was sort of a situation with this friend, I guess not really friend anymore. Uh, and so all, um, things fell through and I was really irritated and pissed off and all over the place. And it just was, I was hurt. And I just didn't know what to do. And so I was going to go by myself to Chicago and back. Uh, Luckily, my dad was actually cool enough to just be like, I'll come along with you. So we made it a trip. And uh, because I could not miss seeing Young Fathers Live. Um, But again, it was something where I just wasn't going to let someone ruin this for me. So, um, But um, Algiers opened the night. I thought they did a great job. I was thoroughly enjoyed and impressed. They were great. Um, but young fathers just have this amazing energy. Uh, they, I love the set list spanned all three of their albums. They actually did some, um, I think a song or two off of like their first two tapes, which was awesome. The flow was great. I love the, the minimal stage design, like the colors and everything was great. Again, the three of them were just so, like just having so much fun. I had a moment where um, when Lord was on, they started singing it to the crowd. And I remember one of them was like staring directly at me because I was at front, front row, which is awesome. And they 
the second they started playing Lord, I started singing with them because they wanted to make sure people knew what was going on. And the second I started singing, he looked at me and he smiled and he started nodding his head. It was like the most amazing moment of my life. Like it was, I'm so happy I went. I am just singing my heart out to some of my favorite songs and it it was it was a magical night and I appreciate my dad for coming again it would have been cool in other circumstances and you know he seemed to at least enjoy himself I didn't want to necessarily have him be so um like annoyed with (laughs) going but he seemed like to have a decent time uh but yeah um young fathers man they they were just incredible like again it was just such a magnificent moment so um but yeah those are my top five concerts of the year uh this was a fun list to do again very last minute uh but hey what are some of your favorite concerts of the year did you even go to any of these shows in particular or any of these concerts this year like in terms of tours not just being where I went, but just in terms of where you live, leave them in the comments below. If you like, please like and please subscribe. We will be having another video. I don't know if it's tomorrow or sometime this week for albums, but definitely be on the lookout for that. I know this is sort of a random video to throw in the middle. Don't worry, things will get back to normal. But again, I thought it'd be fun to do this video. So yeah, without anything else, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for tuning into Channel BK. Peace out, guys.